your host for Motor Week, John Davis. Well, hello and welcome again to Motor Week. We're glad to have you with us. As the new GM gears up, it's clear that certain vehicles will be key to its success. The 2010 Chevrolet Equinox is the first such vehicle. Now this five passenger compact crossover utility returns with a stem to stern overhaul and a focus on higher fuel economy. All to be a stronger competitor in a segment pioneered by the Toyota RAV4 and the Honda CRV. So let's see if Equinox can lead the generals march back to success. The second generation 2010 Chevrolet Equinox is built on an updated Theta architecture shared with the upcoming GMC Terrain. Shorter than last year, its very attractive styling draws heavily from the larger Traverse crossover. That includes a front fascia defined by a two-tier bowtie grille, wraparound headlamps and available fog lights. The sleek profile is accentuated by a thick forward-leaning C-pillar and the appearance of wraparound glass. But it's powertrains with class-leading economy that really makes the Equinox a standout. Standard is a 2.4-liter Ecotec i4 with advanced direct fuel injection. Ratings are 182 horsepower, almost as much as last year's standard V6, with 172 pound-feet of torque. Coupled to a six-speed automatic and front-wheel drive form, it boasts government fuel economy ratings of 22 city, 32 highway on regular gas. The highway number beats all other compact crossovers, including the RAV4, the CRV, and even the Ford Escape Hybrid. All-wheel drive drops the highway number to a still stellar 29. The transmission's eco mode alters shift points for best fuel economy. Interstate cruising range is a bladder-busting 600 miles. Optional is a direct-injected 3-liter V6 with 264 horsepower and 222 pound-feet of torque. With a six-speed and front drive, fuel economy ratings are a more normal 18-city, 25 highway on regular. We spent our first outings in the Equinox on the twisty roads west of Plymouth, Michigan. The Equinox 2.4 did exhibit a moderate strain under hard acceleration, but it was no worse than other I-4 compact crossovers. With a respectable zero to 60 time of 8.7 seconds, this big four is more than able to haul a full load. However, maximum trailer tow of 3,500 pounds requires the V6. A stiffer chassis with wider front track aids the all-independent suspended Equinox towards excellent road manners. Ride is well controlled, easily conquering the broken and bumpy Michigan pavement. The cabin is unusually quiet too, thanks to a low drag coefficient and active noise cancellation. Equinox comes with disc brakes with ABS and brake assist. Hill start assist, stability and traction control further the active safety equation. The interior of the Equinox is even more head-turning than the exterior. Not at all utilitarian, it follows the twin cockpit theme of the Malibu and Camaro. The eye-catching instrument panel features blue lighting and a floating center stack for a truly unique appeal within the segment. Two-tone color schemes and excellent fit and finish provide an added dose of style. Seats have a more upscale look and feel too, especially when dressed in perforated leather with red stitching. A tilt telescoping steering wheel with cruise controls is standard. The nominal six speaker CD stereo can be upgraded to an eight speaker Pioneer system on up-level trims. There's also a 40 gig hard drive and Bluetooth. Available is a rear view camera displayed in the rear view mirror. It really helps overcome the otherwise restricted rear vision. The split folding rear bench seat now reclines. It retains four and a half adjustment, a full eight inches. So legroom is also class best. And to keep the kids occupied, there's an available twin screen rear DVD system. But with so much people space, something had to give. It's 31.4 cubic feet of cargo volume behind the back seat is less than CRV and RAV4. With rear seats folded, that space expands to 63.7, but that's still below average for its class. But this isn't. 
the first programmable power lift gate available for a small crossover. Besides full open, it can be set for a lower opening to avoid contact with a garage ceiling. With so much to offer, we were also surprised that Equinox has a lower price than last year, starting at $23,185 for the LS, $24,105 for the LT, and $28,790 for the up-level LTZ. All-wheel drive adds $1,750 more. With upscale styling and interior appointments, class-leading fuel efficiency, and a good overall value, the new 2010 Chevrolet Equinox gives RAV4 and CRV something new to aim for. As for doing its part for a new GM, well, the Equinox has all the marks of a winner.